Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about dynamic interactions in Salesforce. Uh, so Salesforce introduced the dynamic interactions in the winter 22 release. So uh, dynamic interactions are part of continuing drive to make the lightning app pages more dynamic and interactive. So basically there are many components uh, on a lightning page and they may or may not be in the same DOM. So if you want to communicate uh, between them. So uh, in LWC, basically you, you use the LMS lightning messaging service and in Aura you, you use the application events. So uh, basically one, there is a source event, source uh, component which triggers the event and there are uh, the targets which basically subscribe to that event. So what say in the dynamic interaction, what Salesforce did was like there would be a source event source component which would uh, trigger the event like which the information which uh, which will uh, that event would contain the information which needs to be shared and there would be a targets listening to it so uh, through ui you can uh, through ui you can uh, configure those events so i'll i'll show you quickly uh, how through ui you can uh, configure those events so uh, on a lightning app page you will have a interaction column then you can uh, select the target and then later you can select the values. So I have I have set up uh, one of the component, one of the dynamic interaction components, one target and a, and a source in an org. I'll show you later, but first let's go through the PPT. So uh, dynamic interactions has a four major building blocks. So firstly, uh, an event, like event can be anything that uh, uh, that uh, can be triggered on an interaction, like a button click on a button click on a button press and uh, the source i've explained the source is some uh, an component which is triggering the that event and that event contains the necessary information which needs to be shared and the target are uh, those which are subscribing to that event and before uh, i show you the uh, before i show you the practical of uh, dynamic interactions in my org I want to share some of the limitations. So these are provided by Salesforce. So dynamic interactions are supported on, only on app pages for now. So you can't use them in record pages or home pages. So uh, only LWC custom components can be a source components and any of the aura or LWC can be the target. So the source is the one which would uh, trigger the event. So that can right now for right now that uh, uh, a source can only be a LWC custom component and the target can any be uh, can be any component like an aura or an LWC and there are some other uh, uh, limitations that uh, on the event you can only share properties of type string integer boolean uh, you can't set up target property value as an array or a list of values and etc uh, I'll share the links you can read through them so now I'll just quickly show you the uh, the practical of dynamic interactions in my org and uh, then we'll go through the code of it for it so currently i'm on the sale or on the setup so i'll just so currently i am in my org and i'll just quickly search for the dynamic interaction app page which i created yeah uh, so you can see this uh, dynamic interaction source one component is present and there is another component which is the target so the, currently the target is uh, not showing anything so basically i'm querying the accounts and uh, i'm showing the account names so uh, when i click on any of the account so it would load a lightning form for uh, that account and uh, from here i can edit that account and then save it so let me just uh, edit one of it i'll just add a prospect rating and sla role and just save it so it's saying that of support tier is mandatory i'll just save it so yeah it got saved so similarly if i click on some other account so you, you can see the values got changed and uh, some other account. So uh, you can see both these components are not in the same DOM. So, so both these components are not in the same DOM. 
so you must be thinking like how uh, the data is being shared how uh, does this target know i want to show this account so uh, yeah let us let us go through the code and i'll explain you so firstly uh, this target uh, this source dynamic interaction source is uh, account list component lightning web component which i created so uh, uh, i'll just quickly go through the javascript file i've created one apex method which which is returning all the accounts and i'm calling that apex method through a wire adapter and i'm just uh, if this is a success and if data is present just uh, update the this dot accounts property and after that uh, i'm just looping through that property and creating divs so uh, yeah now uh, on on click on click of the name i'm calling the handle change method the handle change method is dispatching an event so this is the important part so it is dispatching an event called item selected and in that item selected in that uh, custom event we have a detail and in the detail we are passing the uh, record id so uh, in this this dot selected id i'm just uh, uh, getting the record id from the get attribute class since in the html you can see uh, the uh, we are populating the class as a uh, record id so i'm just uh, getting the value for the class and then i'll just uh, in the detail i'll pass that record id so that uh, others who have subscribed to that event can see through so i'll go to the uh, metadata file so uh, uh firstly before going through this i'll just quickly go through the salesforce documentation for this so uh this is the lightning web components developer guide so it's saying that dynamic interactions uses two target config sub tags first is the event and second is the schema and uh, yeah and you have to define those in the uh target configs so uh, in the target config uh, i have the event tag uh, this is the same event tag which uh, you will dispatch and this name should be same as the uh, event name here and then you can give the label and the description and if we go through the schema so the schema should be the type should be equal to object and in the properties in the properties you'll have to pass in the parameters like in the properties i am just uh, passing in the record id since i want the other component to listen for this record id if you want to pass other other parameters you can do that uh, just from the detail you can pass other uh, in this object you can pass other parameters and you you'll have to define it here uh, in the properties yeah uh, so this was our uh, uh, dynamic interaction source component if i go back to my org this was our this com uh, our this component now let us quickly go through the target component so that's being opened in the other window i'll just quickly expand it so in the target component uh, it's a lightning record form i'm using and uh, this is the record id uh, for which it is being populated uh so javascript file is easy uh, we uh, i have made this as a public property so that we can get the value uh, of this id record and in the metadata file i i have just defined that property so that we can uh, get the value from our lightning app builder page so uh yeah so this component was easy to understand so uh, so in the dynamic interactions there are two major things so in the target you'll have to define a event and the schema and in the uh, in the source you'll have to define it sorry and in the target uh, you'll have to define the properties public properties and just use them so these public properties will be populated from the lightning app builder pages so now i'll just uh, quickly uh, go to setup and uh, lightning app builder so that i can show you how i have populated or we can go directly uh, we can go to edit page uh yeah so uh if you if you click on that uh, target component uh, i have clicked it here so you'll see this id record is being populated here right so this value we will get from the uh, our uh, source component and if you click on the uh, so, uh, source component so you'll see a tab that is interactions so uh, what you'll do here is uh, i'll just i have already added one i'll just 
Uh, so uh, I I clicked on the source component and uh, you from here you can see uh, you'll have to first select the source. You'll have to select the event which we described in the metadata file, and then you have uh, you'll have to define a interaction, and then you'll have to select which is the target event. So the target event is this account detail from event. This is the name of this dynamic interaction target event, and then you'll here you'll have to define the uh the value the dynamic value which it will receive so if i go back to that uh, salesforce documentation so it's uh, saying the same thing that uh, you'll have to select the interaction then you'll have to select the target component and if i click on uh, in expressions in dynamic interaction target value so it's saying you'll have to uh, populate it as uh, here uh, like this so it would be in the curly braces and uh, starting with the exclamatory mark event and uh, this would be the our uh, our uh, uh, value which we, which we are being passed which is being passed in the custom event so uh, yeah so th you can see the parameter is record id so that is why uh, it is being passed as event dot record id so if i change the parameter name here so uh, so that would have to be changed here also so that this uh, target can get the value dynamically so uh, yeah i yeah i guess this was a basic example of uh, how on how to use the dynamic interactions so uh, yeah if you like the video then please uh, subscribe and comment and yeah like uh, i'll upload more such videos in the future